in the ring with a cat. And I was a baby face at the time, and Triple H was a heel. You're always looking out for your guy's back. Triple H, stand-up cat. He picked that dude up, slammed him, and started punching his lights out. And he's yelling to the security guard, get your ass in here. And the security guard didn't know where to shed a wind his watch. He was confused. You know, it happened so fast. And I couldn't do anything. You know, I couldn't help beat the guy up. Yeah. I'm the baby face. Yeah. But Triple H was watching my back, and he beat the snot out of that guy. And uh, I went backstage, and I had a couple of words with the guy. And I didn't take a cheap shot at him or nothing uh -huh. like that, but I had a little come-to-Jesus meeting with him and let him know how I felt. But I always gave Triple H credit for doing that. But the thing about it is, when you pay your money to come into that building— You've earned the right to voice your opinion, cheer, boo, do whatever yeah. to the wrestlers. And we expect that. Yeah. You don't want to be spit on. You don't want to be punched, slapped, none of that. But when someone crosses those rails, when someone comes between those ropes, you're considered fair game. And by and large, brother, back in the day, if you jumped in the ring, you would get your ass handed to you <laughs> in a hurry for a shoot. That's how we dealt with that problem. Was he dropping potatoes on you? Was he getting you good, or was he'd he only kinda... got a couple in on me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it happened so fast. I mean, Triple H was big, laying there. Was he a big guy or no? No, he was just a medium sized guy. Jeez. He was just rowdy. He was a little bit buzzed getting, up, getting beaten up by Triple H. Oh, dude, Triple H ba basically cat. he bellied a back suplexed him, got on top of him, and started punching his <laughs> lights out. It was hilarious. <laughs> But, you know, I always appreciate uh, Triple H for standing up for me like that and watching my back.